Welcome back to Let's Play James Fighters Anthology. Today we will be going through the F-111 Aardvark, or as it's sometimes called, the FB-111. Now this is an aircraft that's going to be very similar to the Su-24 Fencer. It is a supersonic aircraft. It has variable geometry wings. And it's designed as an interdictor to go behind enemy lines and bomb, you know, whatever it needs to be bombed. And its role is also very much the same in that it's supposed to, or its doctrine is very much the same in that it's supposed to make these supersonic dashes at low altitude to penetrate enemy airspace and get to the target. So we're going to set up a mission here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. something like that. Can we get a port? Here we go. The forces are rushing. number. We'll make the air fight equal for them. We'll start out 20 miles, custom load, and I think I'm happy with that, so. Let's see, ooh, what's GB28B? What is that supposed to be? A very big bop. Laser guidance. I'm trying to think of how I want to play this. So I don't think it comes with designator by default. What we can do. Let's see. So we can get that. I think that should be more than plenty, so. You see they give us the bomber One cockpit, time. and that's another wow. thing about this, is they, it's given the fighter decimation, NCF-111, much like the Sukhoi uh, SU-24 Fencer is also given the, the uh, fighter decimation as it's it's, uh, One eight miles. what's the word I'm looking for? Contact, structure, your 9 o'clock flow. One four miles. Trying to think of it. Please advise. One six miles. It's reporting name. It's NATO reporting name. It starts with an F. One four miles. Had some problems falling out of the dive Contact. there. Contact, your 12 o'clock high. Eight miles. Please advise. One three miles. You can see it's definitely not, it, it's more maneuverable than your average bomber, but it's definitely not fighter class, although the Electronic Warfare variant, the EF-111 Raven, actually did score a maneuver kill on an Iraqi MiG, or maybe it was Mirage, it was Mirage or MiG, back in the uh, Desert Storm. Six miles. Yeah, we'll that's just have our wing wing go nuts. Five miles. And we will... We will now go into our low high profile. Or our low high low profile. Bombing profile. 
so we'll come up to get a little arc with the laser designator. Uh, it's probably activator jammers. You can see now that we we popped up. Uh, we are definitely within range of or within the engagement of the local enemy air defenses. So let's see just how big a boom this guy makes. Not going to be commanding troops anymore. Okay, you're starting to. But I don't have a gun, so. One mile. I'm not going to. Not going to waste one of my bomb racks on you. I think the air-to-air -air engagement's over. So it looks like everyone's kind of drifted away. Yeah, they're all searching, so I guess the air-to-air -air engagement was pretty short. Looks like we got another bunker here. And in uh, terms of fuel, we, we actually don't get a lot. That's kind of surprising. I would have thought this to have had a uh, significantly longer range. It won't matter much for this mission, but they also could have just counted on it uh, utilizing in air refueling. This should be the last bunker. Alright. So let's disengage and head for home. Which for us is going to be straight south. It's like... So as we can see, not very vulnerable. Even the wall is pretty slow. But it can carry a big bomb load, and that's what counts. And I feel like it should have more range than what this game portrays it as having. Especially since it's supposed to make a supersonic dash to the target. Contact well. structure, you're 12 o'clock slow. 12 miles. Please advise. Approaching oh, well. Let's see, is this... Family on! Run me, run me. No. This is... Okay, come And it looks like we still have plenty of fuel when we get to it. We can turn off our jammers. And it will start slowing down, spread our wings a little bit. Not that slow. <laughs> We're almost home. So let's line up for the landing. Where to where? And it's going to be a little tricky landing. Let's remember, we still got a lot of bombs on us, so we'll need a little more thrust to counteract that, but we should still be in pretty good shape. A little more 
power. Very easy to control aircraft. Not the most maneuverable, but definitely easy to control. And our pilots are in blue for some reason. It's interesting. Yeah, sure enough. Blue. But no, we landed really. Get off the runway and actually we can just end the mission here. Alright, so this will be a mission. All targets destroyed, no damage. I think our other one of our other ringmen got uh, a couple hits on but nothing major. We killed all the structures and that's it. There's just really not a lot to say about the F-111. It's a bomb truck, plain and simple, and it's good at what it does. Um, you know, I know it's out of service history is that it served in pretty much every U.S. conflict since Vietnam. Where it has served with distinction, and it was actually exported to at least Australia for sure. I don't know if anyone else used it, but Australia actually used them pretty recently up until the early, early to mid-2000s. After that, they replaced them with uh, the Super Hornets that they were buying from the U.S., but... That's all for F-111, and stay tuned for next time as we uh, will go through the AC-130, so stay tuned and we'll see you then.